It's been a year since Tabby Reddy and two associates were fired from Sascock. Now the trio are involved in a week-long hearing at the CCMA to contest their respective dismissals as well as the matters that led to them being fired. According to Sascock, those matters include allegations of sexual harassment against former CEO Reddy. There were also issues around irregular governance and the legal bugging of the organization's offices. At last year's inquiry into allegations of maladministration, Reddy labelled the harassment claims against him as fabricated. Mrs. Varden has the dream to launch what is called the Coaches Association of South Africa. What you've done properly will become a major business industry in the country and in fact in the world. Being vindictive, she has managed to be manipulated by others who are in leadership at Saskok and have come up with this fabricated sexual harassment charge with which which, if it was not so serious, would be tantamount to a joke. What I find most strange is that this woman who believes that I have sexually harassed her can see fit to honor invitations on two different occasions to my home in 2016, both where she was present on her own. Any logical thinking person would realize that this is a fabrication. But a four-day investigation led by advocate Anton Mayberg in December 2017 found Reddy guilty of harassment and other forms of misconduct. The probe also found that former PA Jean Kelly and ex-CFO Vinesh Maharaj had committed various forms of work-related misconduct. The Saskog board voted to adopt the recommendations of findings against the three, leading to their dismissals. The trio have contested the legality of that vote while also calling into question the conduct of Saskok as a whole. And, uh, Meanwhile, more than six million rand in legal fees has already been spent by Saskok on this matter. Flonim Timkulu, Johannesburg.